While Sarah cracks on with the chairs, Louise's old rubber boat is in Marlow in the hands of a man with the ability to bag any job, Neil Rag. From scraps into satchels and rags into bags, Neil is your man. Neil utilises tough and rugged materials destined for the dump and transforms them into one-of-a-kind carryalls that will last a lifetime. Pretty much everything I use is salvaged or reclaimed uh, or upcycled, so it's giving a new lease of life to something that somebody doesn't want anymore. I'm not entirely sure why I focused on bags. It might just be because it's something that I enjoy making, and there's never one bag that does everything anyway. So it's a bag for the festival, or a bag for the commute, or a bag for exploring the jungle. Could be anything. Being prepared for anything will certainly help you today, Neil. I have a feeling Sarah thinks I'm not being challenged enough because she's brought me a rubber boat. And Sarah's on the blower. Hi, Sarah. To chat through her thoughts for the big old boat. It's really rugged, tough, obviously, and very waterproof. So a wet weather kind of duffel bag, you know, chucking in your kit after your, I don't know, after your open water swim or your day on the beach or something like that. Thank you very much. Bye bye. We're going to stick with the outdoors stuff. We're going to make some sort of duffel bags. Uh, keep it simple, uh, but keep it so that it's very usable. It's good for the triathlete, good for the, good for the beach. How many bags will depend on how much material will be salvaged. So it's anchors away. But where does Neil begin? I'm thinking I'll just cut some patches off that I think I'm going to be able to turn into bags and see if I can get those particular bits clean first. This is a rubberized synthetic fabric with a vinyl plastic coating. And if that sounds like a difficult material to work with, well, it is. When you get to it several layers thick, that's really quite tough. So getting a needle through that is going to be quite a challenge. Right, well, I've managed to cut myself some bits of fabric from this mucky old boat. Uh, a lot of it is, is a bit grotty, though, so I've got myself some UPVC cleaner, and I'm going to hope that it comes up OK. Yeah, that's coming up all right. It's getting the muck off. So far, the voyage of discovery is staying on course, but some tricky waters are still to be navigated. The fabric's clean, but Neil still has to get a needle through it. We've got some horrible ridges on this rubber, so what I've done is I've shaved them off. I'm going to see if I can get a needle through it so that I can get this zip attached. Right, we're coming to the thick rubber bit, so Either the needle's going to break, or it's not going to go through, or worst of all, it's going to look a complete mess. Having agreed a budget of £100 with Sarah, will the boat's tough material end up sinking Neil's plans for the duffel bags? 